Good morning, brothers and sisters. I welcome you to our daily devotion insight. And this morning, I'd like to share a devotion that I entitled it as Your Hand is God's Hand. Uh, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 27 to 29. I will read from the Message Bible. Uh, it goes like this. Never walk away from someone who deserves help. Your hand is God's hand for that person. Don't tell your neighbor. Maybe some other time. Or try me tomorrow when the money is right there in your pocket. You know, have you come to across a situation when uh, help is being requested and the person will reply, I'll, I'll, I will think about it or I will pray about it. <laughs> uh, more spiritual reply. You know, such a situation is not new. Even the writer of Proverbs uh, wrote down such a situation. Right? I, I, I love the, the translation in the message. You know, they wrote it quite plainly. Don't, don't, uh, don't go away and don't turn away those who deserve our help. The Bible teaches that we are obligated to help those who deserve our help. Don't walk away and don't procrastinate. You know, uh, another translation, the uh, book of NIV, for example, uh, it translates that do not withhold good. Do not withhold good when it is in your power to do what is good. Yeah, but I love the Bible, the message Bible, it says, you know, plainly, your hand, it's God's hand. Meaning, you have the power to help. When you reach out to help, you are extending God's hand and God will work through you. You, money will come, especially when help is requested. And it's, this is especially talking about money, you know. The Bible says, you know, when there's money right in your pocket, money will come and replenish yourself because why right, it is not you working god is uh i was still very challenged by uh, uh the, the 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 preacher for our missions convention i remember dr samuel when he he challenges to to give to the mission field he said don't worry don't worry about giving you just give you will have money money will come and he said being his uh, his has been many years as a pastor and then he'd been preaching the same sermon about giving. And he said that in his pastoral time, you know, as long as he lived, no, none of his members actually come to him and tell, tell him, Pastor, you bluff me. Uh, you say you give to God, uh, then God, God will bless, uh, bless me and you bluff me. Nobody said that because when they give to those who deserve help, God will ensure your needs are met. See? And when the proverb says, when your hand is God's hand, you know, it's such power. You are extending God's hand. You are a vessel. So do you have a need that you, you can fill this morning? Do you have people that you know of that in need of financial help and you have ability to give? Give and you will see how God move through you as a vessel of honor. You have the power to help. So go and help them. May the word of the Lord bless you this morning.